hi and welcome to a new tutorial in version 360 here I I am continue working on the BMW Z4 let's start uh, with um, a top plan And as you can see here, you can rotate your model like this and see from the top. And as you can see here, just click on it. I think the, I did an error here. Uh, try to not pick any other uh, edges. okay just I want to this to be uh, horizontal okay as you can see here uh, I'm using the M key uh, to, to position the to or to move uh, these points and make the um, the best profile of the spline step by step I know that you can do that as you can see here I will rotate this with a 3d view and use this uh, controllers with the M key and make like a, like an arc here okay using this to move it try to do it approximately like that okay pick another spline and just make it as you can see here just follow the uh, the edge but i think it's not okay like this okay don't uh, pick the the center point of of the on another edge okay Make sure that your edge is okay here, okay? Once you finish that, uh, stop the, the sketch and go to the patch mode and as you can see i'm using sweep feature or sweep feature select this one like the i think that it's not check off the chain selection here as you can see that's the profile select this like a profile and for the path select this one and press ok as you can see we have a nice result here and go ahead and let's make another surface in this bmw z4 okay Uh, when you rotate your model like this um, I wanted to to trim um, this uh, this surface using nice tool here is the trim tool 
and for the trim tool you can select um, the surface like a tool and fusion ask you uh, what's the the surface you trim and as you can see here trim them on the surface we want okay thanks uh, for all subscriber and thanks for all your comment and all the people who are sharing my tutorials please if you have any question don't hesitate to post it in the comment find me in the facebook and the instagram well, that's uh, that's the front of the car step by step working on it and let's work on this zone i will start uh i will start with the uh, spline and i will accelerate the video to make the the, the profile Once you finish like this, I will add another spline in the interior of the, the first one, okay? It's the same thing, use the spline and make this profile, okay? Adjust it with using um, the M key, okay, of your keyboard and just move the um, uh, move the controllers as you can see here okay i will explain to you you have just uh, select the points and use m key to move it okay as you can see here The green one is the controller uh, point of the spline. I will accelerate the video because it take it takes time. Okay, but I think uh, it's not so because I finished it. All thing is all right here. Make it just like that and after I will explain to you why I did I did it like this, okay? You can make it uh, make it two sketches or three uh, one after uh, one but the, the the best method is to use one sketch uh, and use many splines and when uh, when we have to use one of these sketches i will call it okay this one is the last uh, the last sketch okay As you can see here, we have our profile 
and uh, you can use you can use the um, the offset okay we have not used our sketch now okay just start with um, minus one of the offset of the surface okay as you can see here Don't forget to save uh, your uh, your file, okay? Please, if you have any question of the surfacing mode in Fusion 360, don't hesitate uh, to ask me, okay? By emailing me or leave a comment. Here you use the split split face, okay? choose this like a uh, face to split and for the splitting tool use the, um, the the exterior profile you sketched earlier okay I think is all right here just leave it like this okay and I'm working directly on it if we have any error we can uh, we can return to it and fix it uh, and continue working on this car uh, people asking me about the v12 engine in the fusion 360 please just wait uh, I want to finish uh, this uh, this car or I will find uh, how to share this uh, this engine with you uh, each uh, each Wednesday okay but now I I am working on this car to finish it and continue working on the V12 engine in Fusion 360 and after that i will share with you the um, the, the episodes uh, i just told to you about the, um, the the episode continue working on the v12 engine and sideworks and other inventor okay because the engine is not finished yet and i told to you that I will share all the episode with you and find it in the in my website and there are some uh, some um, uh, episodes the uh, payable episode it's not uh, it's not for free okay and you can download it uh, in the the store find it in the website okay you can uh, you can just uh, uh, read the description of this uh, episode and you find the website and many link um, to follow them okay return to to our car here and let's work with this plane again here I I just add this spline on the edge make sure that in the sketch palette the 3d sketch is activated okay that's allowed to you to um, to draw in the 3d axis okay or three dimension if you want That's that you can use the the extrude extrude feature, but that's for the surface mode or the patch mode in Fusion. 
it's the same name the surface egg mode in SOLIDWORKS and or risk inventor just make here minus one or minus 1.5 it's not a problem here and this one we will use it and add the thickness after okay All thing is all right here and just you can remove this by selecting selecting it and press delete in your keyboard 